All right, what's up, everybody? This is Ingram. I am one of the Minecrafters, and today we're going to go over some changes that came in the latest version of Tech at Light, that's 065, that are really they're really game changers, and they relate directly to the uh, advanced, or excuse me, the applied energistics mod. They are awesome. We're going to discover them uh, now and show you a bunch of different options that came in, as well as what changed, because there are some things that will no longer work. So let's check it out. So the first thing you're going to know is that there are two different things that these were actually, there's actually four of them, and they were in previous versions of Tech at Lite. They just didn't actually work. Um, it was always available. There was a configuration file that needed to change. So for those of you and those of us who are playing on vanilla Tech at Lite, um, we now have the ability to use these recipes. They are literally game changers. I'll explain why in a second, but let's talk about what they are. First, the basic and advanced processor assemblies. We'll show you how to craft those in a minute. And then those get converted through various means into these things called basic and advanced processors. And those are going to take the place of all of the um, diamond and golden chipsets, respectively here, golden here and diamond here, that we used to have to use build craft assembly tables for. So let's check out the first of the recipe types that we can use. So the reason I call this a game changer is because now you can get these way earlier in the game. You do not need the insane amount of power that Buildcraft uh, gates need. We'll look at those in a second. But all you need to do, you need to craft a quartz knife. This is called a quartz cutting knife. And it's just two pieces of quartz crystal on the bottom. Then we have an iron ingot up here, two quartz crystal, and then just sticks. And those make us a quartz cutting knife. Now that quartz cutting knife will have a durability. But we're going to use it to actually uh, manufacture these different processor assemblies. And I'll show you that in just a second. Because before we do those, we need to smelt um, some silicon. And the way that we can do that, silicon, silicone would be an E, I guess. So I'm going to say silicon. You take quartz dust, you stick it in any furnace, um, including the thermal expansion furnace. That'll work as well. All you do, take a quartz dust, put it in there, give it some fuel, boom, converts it to silicon. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that silicon, and there's two different ways that you can assemble these. And if you wrap uh, a gold ingot in redstone, silicon, and put a quartz cutting knife on top, you get this basic processor assembly. If you do the exact same recipe except with a diamond, you get the advanced processor assembly. Now, you can't actually use these processor assemblies in anything. We need to convert them to these advanced, the ME basic and ME advanced processors. So to do that, you actually have to refine them in a furnace. And if you take your ME basic processor, if you, excuse me, if you take your basic processor assembly and you just slap it in a furnace and I've processed them all here. Let me throw another one in there. Just a, uh, this is of course the raw basic processor assembly. Just give it some fuel. I just put lava cell. You don't really need that. This thing will turn away and turn it into a basic processor. Again, exact same design over here for the diamond chipset. We're just going to take the basic, excuse me, the advanced processor assembly, smelt it, and that will, of course, convert it into the ME Advanced Processor. Now, that's the way that you can get it without pretty much using any power at all. I mean, you can see that I've powered this whole setup using charcoal. So that's very low tech, and you can use it to immediately start working. So the other thing is, what do you do if you have already existing diamond and golden chipsets? Is there any solace for all of those of you who spent tons and tons of time getting those things, tons and tons of power getting those things uh, assembled, and the answer is yes, there is. So I have just a couple examples here. I want to illustrate a very key point. You can no longer use those golden chipsets and, of course, those diamond chipsets. You can no longer use them directly in a recipe. You now need to convert them to one of these uh, ME processor types, either basic or advanced. So, if, for example, the conversion matrix here, the new recipe is as follows. You simply replace the old golden chipset with your new ME basic processor, which thankfully is gold, so it helps to indicate what you're replacing. So, if you look at the old recipe, see how we just used the redstone golden chipset? Again, exact same recipe, except now we have to use the ME basic processor. The same exact thing goes for things like the ME controller, where 
We used to be able to, this is our old recipe which is now broken, we used to be able to use a redstone diamond chipset, but if you can see as soon as I place it in the table, it's not going to make anything anymore. And now the reason for that is because we have to use this ME advanced processor in place of all of the diamond chipsets. So I mentioned that there was Solus for all those who spent countless hours um, making all those chipsets, and we'll get into that right now. There are three different ways to utilize those. The first is if you still insist on using an assembly table, this is actually not so much a different way to use your existing chipsets as it is a way to use all the setups that you've already designed. We'll take a look at Ovidius' setup right now, and you can see that he has, I think there's over 100 lasers in here, and these things are all hammering down into this, uh, these, these few tables here to actually crank these things out big time. So... Um, we're going to take a look at how he can still use those assembly tables to make all that stuff. So if we look here, it requires 60,000 millijoules per basic processor and 100,000 millijoules for advanced processor. The recipes are actually kind of simple. It's just silicon again, some redstone, some gold to make your basic processor. And if I show this here, here's the stored the energy requirements and all that. Just what you've seen before. The assembly table is the exact same recipe, except this time instead of a gold ingot, we're going to use a diamond and that will give us the ME advanced processor. Now, if you already have existing chipsets and for example, maybe you're using the factorization mod, you can simply use a mixer and these kind of have a cool graphic. I have not hooked these up to power so they will not work, but the recipe here, your existing golden chipset with a piece of silicon and a piece of redstone in this pattern will actually produce a ME basic processor. Again, we're going to see the same thing except with a diamond chipset. That's a redstone diamond chipset is going to produce your ME advanced processor. There is a shapeless crafting recipe for this that uses your existing chipsets. It's actually a lot easier here. I don't know why you'd use any of these other options if you have these shapeless ones, but you have a redstone golden chipset, redstone silicone in this pattern, and again, diamond chipset, redstone, and silicone in that pattern give you your basic and advanced processors respectively. So there you go. This is a lot easier if you notice and remember from our previous tutorials, there was a lot of um, manufacturing that had to go on with all these lasers. You saw Ovidius's insane laser setup. Um, we had showed you ours previously, but then we Chief Diesel blew it up with a nuke. So we can't show you that anymore. But there was a lot of, look at all this power, that you just needed tons and tons of power. And it really limited your ability to get into applied energistics earlier on in the game. Now, thanks to these changes that have come in from Tech at Light, 065 we can actually get these as you can see here as soon as we get charcoal and as soon as we get enough diamonds to start wasting them on all these chipsets and then of course you need the quartz but you can get to these a lot easier you don't need any of the uh, assembly tables obsidian diamond tons of stuff tons of MJ um, that you needed to get those going so that's no longer needed you can get into applied energistics a lot easier you can even use the things that you've already spent all that time doing um, and just remember, please, that these old recipes are now broken. You cannot use them, and you need to use the new ones, which is fine because they're a lot easier. Okay. Please, um, if you're going through any of the other tutorials, keep that in mind. Anytime we reference the chipsets, you now have to replace them with these different advanced processors. We're probably not going to redo those videos because they're pretty extensive. They go into everything, and the only thing that really changed is what we see here. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. If you get stuck or have any problems, please let us know in the comments, either here or on the website. And as always, thanks for watching and stay poised.